Hello students, this is your Bhushan sir. Hope all of you are fine and safe at home. In today's class, we are going to understand a new and innovative topic um, that is ecological sanitation, uh, abbreviated as ECOSAN. Sanitation is a process of maintaining cleanliness and dealing with the sewage. For example, sanitation in a city is taken care by city municipality corporation that makes sure of uh, uh, trash disposal in a proper and scientific manner. Thus, protecting the help of the health of the uh, of the people of that particular um, area well in today's topic of ecosan we will be understanding how human waste or excreta is disposed in an uh, innovative and scientific manner In conventional toilets, what we make use in our day-to-day -day life, we the human beings are making use uh, till this decade. The excreta of toilets were washed and flushed by using enormous quantity of water after every use. So, the water is wasted here and therefore ecosan is an ecological and sustainable scientific process in which human excreta is decomposed in uh, the fecal chamber down and the waste is decomposed to get the fertilizers which is used in agricultural fields later. This nutrients are recycled, water is conserved and various ailments caused by non-sanitation is also prevented and the environment is safeguarded. Well, students, what is the need or why do we need this ecosans? Continuous usage of artificial or chemical fertilizers had led to decline the land fertility and increase in cost of chemicals too, which further had led to the party of farmers in both urban and uh, peri-urban, that is the area surrounded by the urban zone. Also, the ecosan makes man to overcome all these problems. Ecosan maintain hygiene, then prevents the pollution, fights against the infections, saves the water, promotes zero waste management and encourages even the food production by usage of the manure or the compost what it produces. It also promotes recycling of nutrients, conservation of resources like water, Preserves the soil fertility by the usage of manure or compost in the agricultural lands. And it increases the productivity of uh, the agricultural crops and gives the food security further. The waste here is converted into an useful marketing product, which we call it as a humus or compost of the excreta.
how are these ecological latrines are constructed or how are these ecological uh, latrines are made up of so the major components include number 1 squatting pan it diverts the urine and feces that is the excreta separately for the collection and utilization process further so the very function of the squatting pan is to separate out the urine and the fecal matter in the collecting tanks students remember here the pan has two holes if you closely look at the diagram down here I mean to say the picture down here it has got two holes one hole at front the other one for uh, uh, front which is smaller and one which is at the back is larger the bigger one is for the collection of fecal matter that is the excreta and the urine is separated by the frontal smaller hole you can see it in the picture down here these squatting pans are not available in the market hence in situ cast or mold is done by uh, uh, using the cement or plastic or fiber during the construction it is generally made up of cement fiberglass or combination of both the next part is the pan cover it is the cover used to cover the holes Uh, for urine and excreta collection the cover is placed to prevent um, mainly the fly breeding control the smell or odor etc the cover is generally made up of either the cement slabs or metals or pvc or plastic but with a hook used as the holder at the time of opening and closing you can see the same here down so in the earlier picture we had seen both are open here both are closed by the usage of the pan cover the next part is the collection tank or collection chamber students this is the part which differs from the conventional uh, toilets that we usually make use the fecal matter or the excreta is collected down from the excreta hole of the pan it is generally constructed above the ground for easy disposals and this container or the tank could be a bucket or a plastic can or a plastic tank which after filling is taken down uh, to the bio biogas digester or plant along with the cow dung the human waste is also mixed and fed it into the digester to get the biogas or the natural gas after the decomposition of the anaerobic microbes also the manure or the compost that we obtain which is a nutrient rich soil and it is called as humus which is formed and removed after uh, the gas or biogas or the natural gases utilized and it is widely used as manure for the agricultural fields as it is nutrient rich students here in the picture you can see the collection tank fitted with a vent pipe okay the bio toilet uh, with the collection tank and a vent pipe also The next part of the ecosand is a vent pipe. 
it is a common part of uh, both the ecosan toilets as well as the conventional toilets that we make use you might have seen a long pipe which is placed vertically uh, attached to these toilets which is either made up of PVC pipe with a cowl or a cap on the top which circulates the air inside and reduces the odor or the smell within the uh, ecosan toilets. The next is pipe network and collection tank. Students here in the picture down are two collection tanks, one for the urine, the another one for the feces separately. Both the waste are collected separately in a plastic container of 100 litre capacity usually. Why do we make use of plastic containers? Because it prevents the loss of uh, nutrients. Next is the feces emptying door. This is the opening for emptying the tank of excreta. It is generally a concrete slab or a slate or a wooden plank or a transparent PVC sheet even. Here, the first part of the picture down is the squatting room and the next part is the fecal chamber covered with the slab. The slab is covered again uh, with the same reasons of preventing the bad odor expelling from the tank. The second is prevention of uh, uh, the vector flies and their breeding into the chamber down there. Students, there are two major types of ecosan latrines. One is dry ecosan pit toilets or pit latrines, which separates the urine and fecal matter separately in different tanks. Also, there will be two squatting pans in each toilet as what you see in the diagram here. The first is squatting pan is continuously used until the collecting tank down gets filled. Later, the next squatting pan is or alternated uh, uh, pan is used, which is attached to another set of uh, collection tanks for the urine and the fecal matter. By the time the second tank gets filled with the fecal matter, the first tank content, that is the excreta, gets converted into compost and manure. And by the time the second one gets filled in, and this compost is removed out from the first uh, pan, and it is utilized for the agricultural field. Whereas the urine tanks, once it gets filled, it is made to evaporate the uh, volatile compounds and the left out water is utilized for the agricultural plants. So this is the importance of uh, the dry pit latrines. The second type of ecosan toilet is biogas plant attached latrines. I think you can see it in the picture here. The squatted waste is uh, uh, collected directly and it is connected to the biogas plant or the chamber along with the cotton it is sent to or infected to the digester there. So after 
the completion of or filling up of this excreta in the biodigester, the biogas is produced by the activity of anaerobic microorganisms. Manure and compost that is formed down within the digester is removed and used for the agricultural field. Biogas obtained is used for the household purposes. Well, students, the working of ecosand toilets. It depends on the following important factors like uh, dehydration, decomposition, then efficiency um, of decomposition, then aeration, <coughs> excuse me, and temperature. Dehydration step when we look at the factor when we look at lowering of moisture content of excreta is done at this stage. It is usually done by the evaporation of uh, uh, the moisture by adding ash, sawdust, husk to the pit or the tank. Whereas the decomposition or composting efficiency when we look at Compost refers to a complex natural uh, biological process in which the excretory organic matter is converted into uh, the fertile manure, which we call it as uh, humus. And it is done by the action of anaerobic microbes. The process depends on some of the internal factors like uh, oxygen level, temperature, moisture, pH, carbon level and even the um, uh, concentration of the microbial population within. The next factor is aeration. Aerobic microbes requires oxygen as we know and anaerobic requires uh, no oxygen. Anaerobic condition bring in the faster or rapid and odor free decomposition process of micro i mean of the organic matter by the help of microorganism the next important uh, factor is temperature students remember the effective temperature below 60 degrees centigrade optimizes the composting process it stabilizes the process if you increase the temperature, it will destroy both the useful and pathogenic bacteria present in the excretory uh, product. So, activity of microbes is dependent on the temperature available inside the tank. Students in India, states like Kerala, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar and then even in Ladakh they make use of these ecosand toilets for effective cleanliness and which is also eco-friendly um, a scientific process and it is a process of solid waste management you know why it is solid waste because human excreta is also a kind of solid waste. So, the uh, solid waste management also includes the management of the human excreta, which can be converted into useful uh, marketing product like humus or compost, which is widely in demand and it is used as a very rich nutrient. Um, um, fertilizer for the agricultural fields. Uh, well, students, with this we are completing the concept of ecological sanitation latrines. If you have any doubts and queries, please post them to my personal WhatsApp number. Students, stay safe at home and take care of your health. Wish you all a good day. Thank you.